So I'm going to do an unboxing today. This is my first unboxing for YouTube. This is something I think some of you guys will find very interesting. It came all the way from Alberta. I bought it a few days ago. It actually cost me more to ship than I was to buy it. But I've been looking for one of these for at least two years. And it goes with one of my vintage computer projects that I'm working on. And you probably can't guess what it is by looking at the box. But let's see what it is. Let's just open it up and see what it is. So I've kind of uncut this piece before. I'll just take a look at this lid. So they made a special box for me because it is a bit of an awkward size thing. So let's just see what we got here. So I'm going to have to cut some of this stuff up to get it out. out of the way and get a better look at what this is. You can see it's actually not as big as you would think. I think it's supposed to weigh about 70 pounds and it is heavy but it's not as heavy as I kind of expected. Okay let's see if we can get rid of all this. That's what it looks like inside. Fully mechanical. Now he's labeled this. I have to take some tie wrap off here before I can operate it. And I think there's a few other things like that I have to do. And there should be, I believe he's got something taped here for other stuff as well. So I have to take a look. Probably in the box here's some extra pieces or other spare parts and stuff that I need to look at. cover another switch. There's a switch in the back there. So that's nice. Okay. Yeah. Well done. He's cut some nice notches out of there. Did a very good job of packing it. I'm yeah, impressed with that. See, okay, so he's got a RS-232 port mounted here, so, and I believe, yeah, there is a, oh, and I see there's a switch here, oh, I see, so he's built a little thing here to protect the switch, it was not brilliant, wow, that's beautiful. Took me a long time to find one, and to get one at a good price is pretty difficult. So let's see, what do we got here? We got something, a little baggy with, what is that? That, I'm not sure, it's some type of a 
probably a relay or something like that. I'd have to look into it. Not sure yet. And then here's a, a kick, uh, little adapter for your computer that goes to the teletype so you can run it off of your serial port using a COM uh, communications terminal software. I actually have something else that does that too. Oh, spare ink. I always could use that. What do we got here? This is a uh, it says TTY to DLV11 serial interface cable. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I'll have to take a look in the manual and see. Oh, more ink. More ink ribbon. And what's this? What? Oh, that came out. Oh, little rollers. That must be, has to go in there, I'm guessing. This says. I don't know what this is. I guess it must be some kind of ink, I think. It's probably more ribbon. Let's see, this, this thing came out. I'm not sure. This looks like a friction wheel. I guess it probably goes in there. Again, I'll have to, or it's a spare, one or the other. Yep, that's quite possible. What else do we have? Another little bag. And this one says, oh, all oh, these are like, these are all like little knobs and things. Little adapter knobs. And what are we going to do? One of these. That one didn't. It still came out. I hope. These are not like inked with something. I mean, that's another thing to check. Alright, what do we got? Box. So I guess he didn't send the paper, but that's okay. We didn't really need the paper. That probably saved me some shipping costs not getting the paper or the paper tape. I know he has some paper tape too. Oh, some spare parts. Looks like some capacitors. Some other odd bits. I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, that looks like that's from the paper tape reader. And this, I don't have to look that. This like a piece of glass or something. More parts. A little little uh, belt there. Something else stuck in here. Rubber. Yep, some good stuff there. In case I need it. Wow, lots of stuff in here. He wasn't kidding when he said spare parts. Now this feels heavy. This might be a motor or something. And sure enough, that's what it is. Look at that. Spare motor. Well, that's always useful, eh? I ever have trouble with the motor. I think there's only one motor in here that drives everything. Let's put that down. And then I got uh, two of these little boxes and they say circuit boards. Ooh, spare circuit boards of some sort. What are they exactly? Let's see if we can see what they say. Oh, look at that. So this is Not quite sure which board those are or what they're for. You can see right there. I'm gonna have to look them up in the manual. Remove power before card. Yeah, that's usually a good idea. So that's a circuit board of some sort, which I'd have to again look up in the manual. And this one is probably a similar thing. What's the number? Same. Looks like the same part. I guess these are all just little spare parts they had. Just you never know, right? Okay, what else do we have? We have a couple more boxes here. This looks like the same stuff. I'm just gonna open these, see what exactly it is. And it is. And I thought, wow, lots of ink. Well, that's good. Because it must be pretty hard to get that stuff these days. That's very good. One last box. One last box. And that is this one, which opened this way, I believe. Maybe not. Ah, this way. Oh, look at that. More stuff. More paper tape covers, which kind of go here, right? So this is this little clip here that goes on here. So that's pretty cool because that's probably something that breaks. That's a capacitor of some sort or something. Lots of capacitors in there. And yeah, capacitors are usually things that go on. I'm not sure what these are. Little bits and pieces, springs, little caps, something like that. 
Wow, lots of little grommets. There's actually one that says grommets. There's a little relay that comes, a spare relay. Look at this. Look at the contacts on that one. That's pretty cool. So, well, that's good to have because you never know some of these parts, you know. It's, that'd be uh, really difficult to get. So then you know, that's good to have. I and mean, hopefully I don't need them, but you never know, right? Knobs. And... Uh, this is disc. I'm not sure what kind of disc that is. We'll take a look at that later. And that's about it. Well, I found this in, hidden in the back here. Here, there's two screws here that was back here, and as you can see, there's a manual holder, which I know he reversed and put on the inside just so it didn't get wrecked. And in here is the manuals, which is kind of cool. But not only that. There's some more hidden treasures in behind here. So I got the uh, paper receiver, which is kind of cool. And a nice roll of special paper for this machine. Not only that, this is a little tray that goes under here to collect all the little uh, the chads that come off when you're punching the paper tape. And in case you don't know what paper tape is, this is what paper tape is. So here's what it looks like. And here's a roll of paper tape, and you can see that you know, these are the little holes that are in. All those little chads are the pieces that are missing from the holes, and that's what ends up in this little container over here. So here's a nice big roll of paper tape, and you can see there's not much on it. I think it's actually all blank, except for the very end. He probably was just doing a test or something there. And I got some other ones of these kicking around too. I actually got a box of this stuff around, so I have some stuff I can use. And then there's something else in here. I'm not quite sure what this is. This must be, I think there's like a little document holder or something that goes on top here. That's probably what this is. And you can take a look inside here and you can see what's inside here. There's a power supply and a bit of wiring and that's basically it. So, but actually a lot of good space to hide stuff in if you wanted to.